Hello everybody, my name is Digi Destin, and today we are starting my very first Let's Play of, of a game on this YouTube channel. And uh, if you didn't notice from what's, what's on the screen right now, we are playing Super Mario Sunshine for the Nintendo GameCube. And uh, for those of you who are uh, unfamiliar with this game, uh, I believe this game came out around 2002-2003 for the Nintendo GameCube and it's just your basic uh, Super Mario 3D platformer with so, uh, some gimmicks added and, and if you continue watching you'll probably see what those gimmicks are but anyway let's get to it and uh, start this game up Alright, so I have a few files on here. We're going to start from scratch. We'll start with new file C here. And for this playthrough, um, I'm not trying to do anything special. I'm not doing any speed run or any sort of 100% uh, completion. I'm just going to go through a nice, honest playthrough of, of this game. Um, when it first came out, I played this game a lot. Uh, I think I was in sixth grade and I had my tonsils taken out and all I could do was eat soft food and play this game. So I'm hoping to, to relive some of those experiences with this playthrough uh, this time around again. So there we have, there we have uh, Shadow Mario. most concerned with the well-being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. So what's, what's nice about this game is there's actually quite a bit of dialogue um, as opposed to other Mario titles. Like we actually have people talking. Stuff slippery. Okay. Power up from Tweet. Thank you for purchasing this. Now we have the flood. And this is the quote unquote gimmick of this game. So it's very standard uh, Mario physics, you know, jumping, triple jumping, backflips. But in this game, they added this flood aspect, and so um, you notice that it's very water oriented, very tropical, and you'll be spraying a lot of things. Unfortunately, we can't skip this tutorial, so you're gonna have to bear with us. You can then use the control stick to aim in any direction. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the R button to hover in the air for a short time. And I know this game was a bestseller uh, back when it first came out. Honestly, it's it's one of my favorites just because of how much time I spent on it uh, when it first came out. Uh, I don't know if that's more more or less a popular opinion now, but I'm at least one of the only people in my, you know, my group that actually enjoys this game more than 64 or, I mean, Super Mario Galaxy is up there, so, I don't know, I pretty much enjoy all Mario games. I haven't really played any of the Wii U stuff yet, but hopefully we'll get to it. I don't know about you guys, but honestly, this, this stuff reminds me of the you guys seen have seen Hook, of that the imaginary food that they're eating at the the food fight. Really reminds me of that stuff. It always made me hungry. And super good too, but I could only imagine what it tastes like.
So that was easy enough. <clears throat> All you have to do is really just clean up the goop. And you get shine sprites. So unlike Super Mario 64, uh, we're collecting shine sprites. And what these are are the power of the island uh, to, to give it sunlight. Let's go ahead and save and continue. So it brings the sun to the island. And then somehow they're missing. Here comes the a little bit of backstory. Mark is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home and, yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed. So as I mentioned before, uh, this game has quite a bit of dialogue. Um, not not as much as a, a Japanese RPG or, or any uh, American RPG, but for a Mario game, has quite a bit of dialogue. Has arisen because all of our guardians, the Shine Sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the Shine Gate. The reason? It's quite obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Behold the sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. Fairly rough sketch. Looks like something I would draw up. It is none other than Mario. Overruled. I judge the defendant guilty as Dude, I'm going to object too. I hereby order the defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. Start adjourned. And there's there's a few different theories behind uh, behind why Mario is on this island. Actually, um, you know, one of them is is saying after the events of Super Mario 64, uh, Mario wanted to take a vacation with Princess Peach, and so he chose Al Delfino. I'm sorry, Al Delfino to visit, and and of course he's thrust upon. These uh, these series of events, and now he has to clean up the the island. Um, the other theory is after Luigi's Mansion. So after Luigi ends up saving Mario in Luigi's Mansion, he t ends up taking a vacation as well, and uh, again ends up in this situation. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak, and you, Mario, are being treated as a criminal. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve the flood's the smartest thing in this game. I do not want to hear that explanation again. Go straight to it. You can't miss the mess now. Your first job is to get rid of all that ugliness. And remember, we'll be watching you. Now we begin the game. So here we have some more goop. And of course they're going to make you do the same old thing a whole bunch of times. But the piranha plant. But since it's brown goop, I like to say poo rana plant. It looks like doo doo. Most little jelly things are just the worst. You know, they're not too bad in terms of damage, but they just get in the way everywhere. Like I'm trying, just trying to do my job. Why you gotta get in the way? Bring up this old fellow here. Look, on the statue's head. 
and we have Shadow Mario. I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that Peach says throughout this game. She only knows one word, and that's Mario. And she does know how to get kidnapped pretty well. Bring that guy later. Man, that was fast. And he's gone. Wait. Sure, that's not gonna work. Now we have our first set of levels. So I want to say each each world in this game has about eight or so levels. And like I mentioned before, I'm not going to do a 100% playthrough, but I'll be attempting, you know, all eight levels for each world and probably completing each eight levels. I can at least do that, you know, before I end up with the last boss fight. And again, we have another one of these guys. It's just going to be a common occurrence throughout the game, so... I don't think there's one game out there that, that isn't repetitive in some sense. And we have completed our first level. If only had that staples button. Like, that was easy. Save and continue. All right, so. Looks like time has run out for the first episode of my playthrough. Um, I've gotten two shine sprites out of 120. So I don't know if I'll make all 120, but we're well on our way to beating this game. So if you did like this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully you'll tune in to my next playthrough, my next video of Super Mario Sunshine. There's probably going to be a few of these, just because this is the only game I'm playing right now. And, uh, yeah, see you on the next one.